flower bed down here. Everything's to be strimmed, but as I said, I warned Hubby well against it yesterday because he breaks everything. Absolutely everything. And I've warned him not to put a strimmer near any side bits of my borders or anything with vegetables. So that border is filling out nicely. I did lose a dahlia last week when I went to check in the ground. But yes, I think that'll come up lovely. Moving on to the brassicas that I put in a few weeks back. A cabbage, cauliflower and some Brussels sprouts. All looking healthy. And I'm here just for the moment to keep the cats out or the chickens as you've seen the mess they can make. We have our butternut squash, cucumber over there at the back, I think I told you. We have one spaghetti squash. And coming on good. I don't know if it's the amount of manure that's been in there, but there's very, very little, uh, what do you call it, beetroot come up in there at all. Very, very little. And it'll go over into my wee flower plot. Or one of them. Excuse the Coca-Cola can. We'll see how things are coming on in here. Now that lupin had loads and loads of flowers on them. I had to cut them back because that was them um, already flowered and we are done. I'm just trying to check because we've got dailies in here as well. I'll give them a water today. A big dailie over the back somewhere but... Yep, and the foxglove that I put in that looked quite weepy last week because I transplanted it then has picked up. Uh, artichoke's fine. Spinach. I think I'll have to re my spinach because that hasn't actually been chomped. I think the hobby's cut that one, this one here, by accident. But what I did notice a couple of days ago, I had to take two out because it already bolted even at that size. We lost the deal yet in there after Hannibal dug it up. Sweet peas. I planted more sweet peas in there. I don't know whether they'll come to anything. I've been keeping them well watered. Some teddy bear sunflowers plus there are some in there that's been sown direct from seed. We have lovely cornflowers coming up. In fact this is coming on quite well guys. Lupins, fox gloves. There's a big beast that we were looking at a couple of weeks back. Look at the leaves on that thing. Unbelievable. Somebody's been in here as well, as I can see. But the Kel Kelvin Fudlight deal yet seems to be all right. So there's a mixture of things in here as well, guys. We'll get fed over the weekend. I don't know if you can see down. Let me see. Sorry about my shadow, can you see loads and loads of sunflowers that I put in from seed up in there. A little bit green. So there's quite a few things in there guys as you know that's starting to come up. It's looking good. Morning Mr Butterfly or Mrs Butterfly. Hubby tasted the gooseberries yesterday and they are not ready. <laughs> As I could have told by his face. We have got raspberries ripening all over the place. Therefore, guys, I have came to the conclusion that I have been given the wrong ones and they are indeed summer fruiting raspberries. A wee plot there's to be done, no idea what's going in there yet. A wee bit with the hoops. Right, let's move over the fence that's up here to keep the dogs out. Just for a minute and I'll be back. Right, we've not lifted this TP thing out yet. Because the wisteria has now wrapped itself around it. And as you all know, this bit here is for my new shed. Passion flower have now come into bud. Plenty of flowers. Look at that. Uh, Ville de Lyon Clematis. Every single day I come out I've got to 
tie it up or wrap it around as there's always there's always extra bits but this is the biggest amount of growth we've had in about two or three years as you can see it's all the way along the lights there what have we got going in here oh lily's about shortly fox gloves we do have a poppy or a oriental rose poppy in there all sorts of things lupins look at the size of that deal here well i decided to bring down my four celery plants because underneath uh, luscious's tree they sit there and they get the shade and we keep them well soaked and what are you doing in here that fence is up there to keep the dogs out and who, look look hannibal can you come out of there please hannibal hannibal easy easy good boy so patio that you've seen me making if you watch my videos last year guys you'll see that i made my patio area <coughs> just to get a quick wash that's for the table and chairs but the table and chairs are now up there because we're paddling pool will be going in there for the kids coming over this is roy's rockery we have some succulents in there we have this beautiful lady i've not named her yet have some time. I think we've got chives in there, a few flowers and his olive tree which for the first time this year has been well pruned. Emerald lace or as Roy likes to call it Emerald Princess Asa. We have foxgloves absolutely everywhere. Look at the strawberries here guys. The grass seeds that was all duck mounds. The grass seeds have taken mostly round about this area and done well. Somebody's had a wee munch, we don't mind that. On our strawberries, but we have strawberries all the way along there. And we've been eating them from here for the past couple of days as well. Some wiggly wonky ones. Look at that one. <laughs> wiggly wonky ones, so keep an eye on them the rest of the day and I think those ones can get picked. This flower border, we have some pinks in there. I put in some dahlias a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm just waiting for all this to fill out, actually, guys. We've got our verbena. That was planted for my mother-in-law, my late mother-in-law, a I think it's called a bilia. Lavender. All, all sorts of stuff. Hello, good morning, Crane. Got some of my bunting up, got some more to put up. That's my mirror and my small flower border along here. In fact, let's put up my lemon scented geranium. Because as you can see, that's a little gateway for hedgehogs, but my cat shoes it. And we've actually got strawberries in there as well. Fern's looking good. Hannibal, come out the way, please. Hannibal, come out the way, please. Yeah, out the way. Right, and the pond area is coming on. It is eventually coming on. Well, you can, oh, he sees himself in the mirror. Do you see yourself in the mirror? Right, so the pond area is coming on quite well. After that, emptied it all out. Still not finished. Topping up the sides and getting some more plants in. I'm going to actually have to get some barley straw. We used the extract and it did not work. I might even get a few fish to put in there to keep away the mosquito larvae or the mosquitoes themselves, as you can see them flying about. So that will be that for this season, guys. Once it's done, this is what we fun area. We put over here, but see, strawberries are everywhere. Strawberries there. This is a pink fantasy. Clematis. Quite a small boat last year. I thought we'd lost it. Moved it two or three times. And it seems as if it's found its happy place. So this area, it will just be pots because it dries up and it's absolutely brick solid. We've got plastic in certain parts making it a bog garden, but it just doesn't work because we get that 
total direct sunshine in here all afternoon. So apart from what's in there at the minute, everything else that will be going in there will be in pots and replaceable and removable. So I think when everything falls out, guys, we'll be all right. I have got two canal at least to bring down here, and they will be going along that fence. We have got flowers. I don't know if you can see here. We have flowers on our passion flowers up here also. So I'm hoping we may get some fruit this year. I'm not too keen, but I hope you love them. And this bit here, as you can see, that's my weeds. A wee weed tub, etc. And my juice, because when I'm down here, I do not stop. This is the first year, the very first year in three, that we've managed to get some flower heads coming on the hydrangeas. I think it's because I'm keeping them really, really, really well watered. Even if I'm not watering anything else, I'm watering them. Another lovely dahlia. Wallies. Another dahlia. Oh, another dahlia. Another dahlia. Oh, what's dahlia having? So it'll be nice to see what this looks like in a few weeks time. Maybe about a fortnight guys, it will spring into life. <clears throat> so that's where we stand at the minute. And just before I go, there we go Macy. I've got a wee bug hotel. That's where all your wee bees go in, and your wee bugs. To sleep and have their babies. And a wee birdhouse. And there's Mr. Treeface. He watches the garden. He looks after everything in the garden. And the hanging basket at the end has also got strawberries in it. So there you go, guys. This bit here, I shall be cutting. It's been left this long simply because of the grass seeds that was going down. I think it's unfair to say that it will be now safe enough to cut. So that's me, I better go and get dressed. Hannibal, you catching the flies? Are you catching the flies? Hannibal was seven months there on the 24th. And he's absolutely enormous, he's like a bull in a china shop in the house. Everything goes flying, including yourself. But he's just a big pup. So there we go guys. That's a little wander this morning. Our plants etc up there. I think that will be enough. Hopefully I'll have time this afternoon to come back from uh, dog training to get the orca planted. That sounds like a hobby coming. I can hear the trailer. Your papi Roy coming, Macy. Yep. Papi Roy coming. Right, Hannibal, let's go see Dad. You see, let's go. Get him on then. Yeah. Hannibal, come on. Come on. Right, guys, so enjoy your weekend, whatever you're doing. Macy, Granny, and Papi, I love you. Lots and lots and lots and lots like jelly tots. Au revoir, guys. Toodle pip. And bye, bye.